Welcome back, everyone, to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. This is Trojan1979. I hope everyone's doing well. I have skills with me. I think this might be a first time for the channel. Have we have, have we ever done this together? No, I don't think we've ever done this together, Troy. This is a tremendous opportunity uh, for the two of us to get together. Uh, really glad that uh, you're able to contribute and, and give the fans out there some SNES specific perspective. I, I do play SNES, uh, but uh, the I'm more of a Genesis guy at the core. And uh, it'll be great to have you keep me in line, as it were. We have a quarterfinals matchup here between the th third seed, Bob K, uh, and Mooney, the sixth seed. Uh, why don't you give us a little background on these players as we let people uh, get into chat here? Yeah, no, I will. Uh, so before I give a little background on the players, I, too, am also a, a Genesis guy uh, by uh, nature, and uh, the reason why I went to SNES was because I couldn't play uh, online. It didn't support uh, gens for Mac, but that's since been corrected. So now I play both platforms. Uh, but uh, to get to the players, Mooney, Bob K, these guys are both exclusively Super Nintendo guys. No crossover gens players here. These guys stick to the SNES uh, they are 100% SNES. In the all-time record head-to-head -head matchup, they have 34 all-time matches. And Bob K has a huge advantage of 28 and 6. And the last uh, six wins uh, have all been Bob K. So uh, he's definitely got the streak uh, going for him in uh, Super Nintendo. As far as style of play, both players bring the wood. They bring the lumber. They like the check. They like to hit. It's going to be physical. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, checking leads to the early lead or an early goal. Great breakdown. I want to know where the heck you got that 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 series record, man. Like they, they got a spreadsheet going somewhere. <laughs> that's that's no, great. No, angle. so the yeah, no, so the website actually um, keeps track of all the records back since it went online. I think the year the website started was around two thousand and five, two thousand and six. Now, this community predates that date, and uh, but they just didn't have records, so they kept it manually. Uh, some people have, have kept them uh, on spreadsheets, what have you, but uh, there is a database. And so you can go and you can put in any coach. And you can say, hey, I want to look at this coach versus this coach, and it will give you a breakdown. It will tell you their goals scored per, per game, et cetera. It's great. It's great uh, for analysis, and I'm a stats guy, so... I can tell you I'm about two and three hundred combined against Angry Jay and uh, King Raph. Uh, but here we go into this one here. Mooney with the Vancouver Canucks, Bob K with the Winnipeg Jets. And uh, oh, that didn't take long. Timu Salani from Phil Housley, 31 seconds in the first. That was pretty fast, yeah. Salani finishing fast, the finish flash. We're going to scale the audio back just a little bit on the game here so that our voices can carry over a little bit. Solani on the wing goes around, is trapped, bracketed. And of course, he's just Courtnell. Olison to Steen to Jamnoff. Jamnoff now with a pass. Oh, one timer. Solani to Steen. So Steen from Solani and Jamnoff. It's 2 nothing. It didn't take long here, and Bob K's. On a roll. And uh, Jamnoff now from Housley on the wing. Courtnell to Burry. Burry in the corner taken down by Phil Housley. Quick double pass there. Solani to Jamnoff. One timer in the crease. No go. Here comes Courtnell finding a lane. Intercepted by Olison. Nice checking there. And a one-timer to Jamnoff, and already 3 nothing at uh, two and a half already passed in the first. Interesting that he's going with Olison as the starter. I think uh, most guys normally go with uh, Teppo Newmanin, but maybe he wants a little bit more beef because he likes to hit. And that's the, one of the big differences that uh, when you go from Genesis to SNES, you have to understand... The rosters you're going to use just aren't the same. Trevor Linden then unassisted there, making it a two-goal game. Time no, <laughs> ready for Bob K. He's like, you scored on me. I want to kill momentum immediately. Bob K. Memorial timeout. You got to do it, and he's going to kill the momentum. 
and some extracurricular activities there after the whistle. 3 1 here, another faceoff win. They just seem to be all going. Bob K's way, there's a pipe job. Kirk McLean kisses the post. Lennon intercepted. And after the loose puck there, looks like Olsen has it now. Cornell. And he is taken out from behind. No checking penalty. And now the other way, McLean's pass is true, but Housley takes down Burry, a one timer turned away by McLean. And now we have a whistle. Yeah, no, it's interesting you mentioned the differences between Genesis. So in Genesis, you know, you've got the weight bug. In Super Nintendo, there is no such thing as the weight bug. You want to have the heavier players. You want to have the checking ability. And Burray is one guy who does translate well to the Super Nintendo, even though he's 180 in light. It's the speed. Linden there with a, I believe Linden had, had the, the put back there. Essence to get out of position. And there's the end of the first period. So Mooney able to undo some of that early damage. He's only trailing by one going into the second period. Yeah, good first period. Well, going the other way, Linden at center here. Yerme Luque with the puck. And taken down by Housley. Now up to Thomas Steen. Steen machine. Tries to do that centering one-timer pass. It doesn't work. But uh, Solani is able to handle it, and it just seems like Bob Case had the puck the entire game. Yeah, a lot of puck control, keeping it in Mooney's zone. And uh, for those that don't know, the short side deke is king in this. Everything is built on that, and the, the goalie's inability to defend it, and then whether or not the user is going to take control after that. Short side deke turned away. Olison flips it over the that and into the stance for a souvenir for a lucky fan. That's why players like uh, Dangler are so good at Super Nintendo. He can wait to the last possible second to um, show you his move and dangle the puck and then score. So he hides it very well. By the way, Dank is in chat. Welcome, Dank. All right, we have... Puck flipping around. Okay, Burry gets turned away. Evgeny Davidoff behind the net trying to find anything. McLean can't get it. <laughs> and almost an own goal there. McLean finally scoops it up, gets it up to Burry, now to Linden. Linden with a nice spinorama spin getting around. held up. And a one-timer to Burry on the wing. We're all tied. So sometimes those little spins or those little extra pauses, I think, help players to get open. And if you notice there, when he did the spin, it was just enough for Burray to come loose and get the one-timer opportunity. To answer Dank's question, yes, you can swear in here. Uh, YouTube will censor everything, and then we can open up what we want. Here comes Cortnell, back pass, lost, then scooped up by Lume. Lume tries to feed the centering pass. Loose puck picked up by Linden. Poke check, gets it back. Getting held, taken down by Solani. Lidster is there. Lidster with the check, gets possession. To Cortnell, to Burry. Here's a breakaway, pause, and a one-timer oh, off the pipe. Hit the top of the post. Linden resets, gets it to Cortnell. Under 10 seconds now. Burry. One last chance, puts it on Essence, nope. uh, turned away. We're tied going into the third. What a game. Big turd coming up here, as Dank likes to say. We effing want all of it. That's all we want. He didn't say effing. He said something else. Okay, so <laughs> Steen on the wing. Bob K wanting another oh. quick one there off the face off of the one-timer. No go, but this time Housley gets it, puts it Back to the hander. short side. 4-3. House party. So Housley is another player, in my opinion, that he is awesome in Genesis because of his balance between uh, speed, agility, puck handling, passing, but also translates very well to the Super Nintendo game for all of those same reasons. Uh, Bob K already uh, padding his lead here. An extra goal, it's 5-3. Both of the previous goals were unassisted. Solani got the latest one. 
And uh, Mooney has some catching up to do here with just uh, three and a half roughly left over. Olison clears the puck. It's a chase. Lost. Now Cordell has it up to Burry into the zone, taken down three on one. That wasn't a great approach, but it was Burry, so why not? Yurke Lume to Linden. We have a delayed penalty and a pass shot, maybe, or a slap shot there. Uh, wide of the net, and we'll see a power play now as Timu Solani goes into the box for two. Yeah, you're going to need something to get back in this game. Maybe the power play will rejuvenate them. And we'll have the faceoff in the Winnipeg zone. Evgeny Davidoff is absolutely leveled. By the way, I am getting some echo for my voice. I'm not sure if, you're, if it's coming back into your headphones or not. Uh, McLean, no. now up to Cordell. No, is it from me, though? I don't know for sure. And, oh, my goodness. Yurki Lumi was there. There was a gap. He gets the save. And this time comes Burry and goes short side, mm. and we have a 5-4 game. Minute 20 left. Lidster. And we have a breakaway. I'm getting oh, David off. get a breakaway. And uh, tries oh. to do that backside, far side uh, one-timer. It is wider than that. Olison now. So David off. We're getting on to 30 seconds here. Housley with the puck. You got to get it out of his hands. Around the back of the net. There's a penalty. He's stalling. And uh, five seconds, you're not going to get the puck to the other side. So this is going to go game one here to uh, Bob K in a good one. 5-4 is your officially your final. I wish we could see the checks. I don't know if the players will go to the stats screen after this, but we'll find out. Uh, be interesting. Uh, By the way, those of you saw me in Chicago. He did. The... Okay. Let's see what the oh oh that's even so, thirty four to thirty three there. That's two hitting. veteran, two veteran players that know how to hit and know how to uh, check each other. All right, so we're going to update the teams here. Time for game two, and uh, we have Bob K up already in game one. Best of three series. What did I text you before? Was it New York Islanders? And Edmonton. Um, and I think. Bob K is the Islanders. And Edmonton is Mooney. Love me some Peter Klima, I'll tell you that. Yeah, so the two stars that you're going to see here are Klima, definitely from Edmonton, 85. Looks like he's starting him on the wing. And then you have Pierre Turgeon, number 77, probably starting at center for the aisle. Crap Chuck takes down Steve Thomas. Klima. On the wing, looks like Corson's playing center. Manson takes down Turjan. Pierre Turjan didn't know what team he wanted to play for after that hit. <laughs> oh, really oh, nice uh, spinorama delay and then go by Corson, but just not fast enough to beat Healy there on the far side. Hogue to Thomas. Yeah. Center pass turned away. I think that's Craig Simpson. Now on up to Klima. Turned away by Glenn Healy. Darius Kasparitis. Pass is intercepted. Shot is on net. Turned away by Healy. Benoit Hogue now has up to Kasparitis. Kasparitis. Pass is, is floated in front of Turgeon. Scooped up by Thomas, who pays the price. 
Now Corson up to Klima. Turned away, Kasparaitis has it, tries to feed Turjan. Ranford scoops up the loose puck, but intercepted by Thomas, put back. And now Manson has it up to Corson. Excuse me, uh, Simpson rather. Kasparaitis now up to Turjan. Hoag puts on the brakes, taken down. And now he is checked. Turjan scoops up the loose puck. Now he's up to Kasparaitis. Across the center line, taken down. Corson has it now in the potential shot here, a delay. And turned her away, almost put in by his own player. <laughs> Thomas and puts the brakes on there. And we refer to that goal, Troy, as the Lego. So if you accidentally put uh, a goal in your own net, that is uh, infamously known as the Lego. Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a great one there. And, and Turjan knocks off the net off the moorings after scoring a goal there. So one nothing here for Bob K. Kasparitis now clears the puck as the period ends. one nothing here in favor of Bob K. Uh, taking the lead early as he did in game one. So at first, that first period was kind of shaping up to be a slog match. You know, both teams were hitting, and then we get the late goal. one nothing as we enter the second period of game two. This is Troj along with Skills. Skills on the color commentary making his debut here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. We appreciate him. Kasparitis, pass intercepted by Dave Manson. Manson floating it up to Klima on the wing. One-timer to Corson. Backhand, there was nothing on the shot. And the puck is iced. And we'll have a face-off. Oh, <laughs> off the moorings again. A uh, face-off here in the Islander zone. Healy tries to feed Malikoff. And the puck is loose. Picked up by Turjan. Turjan. Skating around. Finds Benoit Hogue. Puts the brakes on. Ranford says, I'll take that. Here comes... Igor Kravchuk lost it, and now looks like uh, Healy smoked Corson in the back of the net there. <laughs> and another off the moorings there. It's a, it's a routine there. Malikoff to Benoit Hoag. It's being held. Bounces off yeah, of Manson. The nets definitely come off easier in Super Nintendo than Jens, that's for sure. Loose puck after a nice big check. Kasparaitis intercepted by Kleeman. Now picked up by Malikoff up to Turjan. Turjan takes the zone and beats oh. them all coast to coast from Malikoff. Turjan makes it a 2 nothing game. Nice little move there. He went for the deke inside, came back, shot it. Strong hand. From the back of the net, resetting. Here comes... Uh, excuse me, Kasparitis to Thomas, and oh. just beats Ranford across his face to the glove side. The top shelf, Ramama keeps the peanut butter. Turjan gets the hat trick from Thomas and Kasparitis. That was a quick one-timer. Nothing you can do there other than to try to take the goalie before the one-timer. Puck and floating around not, here. Knock that guy out of the net. Edmonton has not been able to do much here. Uh... It seems like the defense has been pretty stout by Bob K. Hulk taken down by Kravchuk. And you just need to get one on the board. If you get one on the board, you can put two goals on in a hurry. Three goal lead, hardest goal, hardest lead to keep in the NHL, they say. Corson puts the brakes on, time running out, three nothing into the third period. Bob K is one period away from advancing to the next round. Uh, the semis of the Modonimal Problems 2 SNES. Uh, what's what's the deal with it called Modonimal Problems? Well, we held a tournament two years ago live, uh, which involved Super Nintendo and Genesis in Minneapolis. This year, just because of the, the way the world was, we were only able to make the Genesis work based on Canadians not able to come. And that is our fourth goal here. This may be a runaway here for Bob K. Uh, lot, that's a lot of uh, ground to make up if you're Moody. Yeah, we're getting to mercy goal. Oh, Ooh, okay. mercy goal time. If it reaches six nothing, then it's technically a uh, mercy. Yep, we don't want to, uh, you know. And that first game was really good, uh, uh, but uh, Bob K just finding all the spots here in game two. But uh, yeah, you can. You can, sit, you sit, can sit. see the. Go ahead. Sorry, Troy. 
I was going to say the first game is sort of a feeling out process, even though these players have played, you know, multiple times, 30 times plus, right? Anytime you have a series, a lot of times you'll view the first game as kind of a feeling out tendencies of each player, what you want to shut down in the next game and what you want to focus on scoring. So I think that's what Bob K did and made the adjustments in game two. Really good chance there for Mooney and uh, Klima uncharacteristically just piped it there. Wide open net. But uh, we wanted to give our Super Nintendo players a chance to uh, be involved in what we did. And so we just brought that portion of the tournament online after the live one happened. About a month, just over a month ago, we got together live again in uh, Minneapolis. It was a great time. Angry Jay won the tournament for uh, Genesis. And now we're giving homage here to the Super Nintendo guys that uh, wanted to support what we were doing and really appreciate it. And for everyone who participated in the tournament, uh, they are someone's going to win some jerseys. <laughs> so, all right, nice swag, absolutely. Um, there's a quick one timer from Shane Corson, and uh, now Glenn Healy is really smelling that uh, that shutout. Oh. Time running away here. And there uh, there's your sixth goal. So that's officially, uh, if it wasn't already in doubt, uh, Bob K advances here. 6-0. Uh, and uh, thanks to both players for uh, for to competing. But uh, Mooney gets eliminated here in the quarterfinals. Bob K advances to the next round. So, um I don't know what else to say. That was just a completely dominating performance by Bob K, who comes in as a three seed, and uh, Mooney is no slouch, and, and he uh, makes quick work of him here in game two. You he, he, he called it out. He dissected him and uh, went right for the jugular there in game two. Yeah, that's what a veteran player is going to do. He's going to know exactly what he needs to fix and adjust in game two, and he takes the series. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for watching uh, tonight. Uh, Skills, thanks for, for uh, taking some time out of your busy schedule to announce with us. Uh, we're going to try to come back uh, with other quarterfinal matchups if there are any to be had uh, before we uh, show any uh, um, uh, semifinals uh, action. So we want to make sure that uh, all those games have a chance to get their light shine on. Uh, so we'll get back, maybe even for some live. This was re pre recorded, uh, but uh, we're looking forward to getting you guys. Uh, 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 more NHL 94 here, uh, a number of series. So there's not a lot left. Uh, there, there was about maybe 15 of us, if I remember, to start out with. So it was, it was a lighter group for Super Nintendo this year, but glad for all the support. And uh, you guys, in, uh, we do have a playlist that we've created for this, Modanimal Problems 2 uh, SNES tournament. So more games will show up on that. So uh, uh, look for that in the coming days here. Next week or two, should be the tournament should be wrapped up. So... Four skills, this is Trojan thanking you, and you guys have a good night.